Alright, so you've worked on a scene. This is a pretty basic scene. It really doesn't have anything special going on. Um, and you want sheets on your bed. So I'm gonna hide this. This, this. Don't need to hide that, that's far enough away. I'm gonna select my bed, go to edit mode, uh, select this face over here that I've made. Um, the only reason I'm doing this and not using a separate plane is because if you see like my bed is at an angle and I just, I'm lazy so I can't be bothered to like realign the sheet. I'm gonna select that, press B, selection, and that's it. Select this. I'm going to go over here and change this subsurf modifier to simple, and I'm also going to increase it by like one. I'm gonna make it six. Apply that and take it up a little bit. Actually, we didn't need to apply that. Let's just go back. Okay, move it up. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a cloth sim to this. Uh, good sir. Oh, I was like further into the thingy majiggy down there. Okay, so. We're gonna apply a cloth sim to that and add a collision to this. This is the simplest way that everyone does like bed sheets. And yeah, we need to scale this up a little bit more. Let's just go to top view. So basically that's the size of our bed. We're gonna scale it up a little bit to this and to this side and a little bit more to this side. Okay? And then what we're going to do is basically go to this, maybe increase the quality steps a little bit. Uh, doesn't really need to like... Yeah, we don't really need to change anything else, it's fine. Oh yeah, self-collision. And bake it. So around like 50 frames, 60 frames is usually where I stop my bakes for bed sheets. Um, mostly because that's more than enough time for it to like... I don't know, settle. We're gonna see, it's fine. So 50 frames, I'm gonna stop the bake, I'm gonna start it, and there you go. Like, that's perfectly fine. So, you can just, ooh. All right, and now I'm gonna unhide everything and go inside to my look over here, and I'm going to see what it looks like. So there is a problem. The problem is that when I apply the thing to it, it doesn't really work. It doesn't want to... Oh! It's because there's already a subdivision multiplier. My bad. So, basically need to add another subdivision after all of that is done. So, this is how it's gonna work. And... Yeah. So that's the basic bed sheet design done. Uh, you can give it a few more frames. Actually, I should. I'm going to do that right now. Let me just go over here. Uh, where was this? Oh, it's down here. I'm going to delete the bake and bake everything once more. Um, the reason we're doing another subsurf modifier like after the first one is because we want it to still look smooth. Like, we don't want it to look uh, like... Pixelate, not pixelated, I guess like polygony. We're going for like a high resolution render over here. Um, and yeah, like if you want a nice looking smooth bed sheet, this is what you do. But the problem with this is this is not how real bed sheets work. I'm probably gonna cut the, all of this talk out in like the final edit. Actually, probably not. I'm too lazy for that. This is not how like bed sheets look IRL. Bed sheets have like I don't know, curves in them, not curves, like imperfections, creases, yeah, there we go, they have creases in them, um, I think that should be more than enough, we're gonna see it anyway, so, basically, it's gonna look like this, and it's gonna go back, and this, this looks more realistic than, like, what we had last time, uh, after you have this, you basically click on this, and go over here, modifier, you select the bed sheet, go to modifiers, and apply the cloth modifier. Oh, wait, you need to apply this first subsurf first, and then you apply the cloth, and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can increase this by one, I'm gonna just keep it at two over here in the preview render, and make it higher in the final one. Just to make it look better in the final one, but not lag my, you know, recording and everything. So this is the basic way to do bed sheets. But what if you want the creases? 
What if you want all of those imperfections? Um, well, you can still have that. I'm going to make like a new collection for this. I'm gonna call it like advanced. Not that advanced, it's just like one extra step. Um, all right, let's go. Let me remove, where did my basic sheets go? Are they in here? They are. Um, let's just change those to basic sheets. Okay, remove that and we're gonna add another, actually, we're probably just gonna have to do this again. So shift D, B, by selection, select that. I'm gonna move it to the advanced, um, make it go up. I'm gonna change it to simple. I need to apply this anyway in the future. Remove the collision um, modifier because I copied it from the bed itself, so it has the collision. I'm gonna add a cloth modifier. I'm gonna go back to my first frame and I'm gonna add self collision. And this time around, I'm going to make some changes. Let me just move this a little bit so you don't really need to make a lot of changes all you really need to do is just some like basic creases oh yeah if you want to you well you probably should uh, change it to this because this way it changes like all the neighboring um, lines and particles as well and it really does feel like a lot real. I'm also going to make it slightly bigger than last time. Along both sides, yeah. Oh yeah, and what one more thing you can do is just select this final edge. Oh, select the final edge and turn it around actually around on itself and I'm going to do it like this so it falls on itself okay and now I'm gonna unhide everything and now I'm going to do the cloth baking it shouldn't take longer than the last one even if we've added the imperfections because the total number of like particles and the edges it has to calculate stay the same so yeah don't worry about that and now I'm going to do this and it like falls it back on itself and now I'm gonna do the same modifier as last time I'm gonna keep it at 2 and apply the cloth actually is this enough yeah that's enough apply the cloth modifier all right so is that everything you can do with your bed sheets though um if you want to like quickly compare the two this is the first one and this is the second one the second one already looks like slightly better but there's still no creases or like stuff in here like in this area um you can cause them just remember that people like the average person would usually take them out. Uh, all right, let's let's add some creases. I'm just gonna copy this um, duplicate collection. Ooh, I had to duplicate this before I did that. Okay, that's fine. We can quickly. <laughs> I'm going to do this first. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do this first. This one. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Do this. Wrong button. Alright, and I'm gonna add like a couple of intended creases. 
over here. And I believe that should be enough to cause some creases. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, remove the collision cloth, add the self collision. Let's see. Not even gonna bake this one. Yeah, and now I'm gonna control three. Alt H. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just bake the lighting. Actually. Do I need to? That's fine, you guys get it. So... Wait a second. There we go. Alright. This is the basic one. And... This is the first advanced one. No wait, that's not the first advanced one. That is a basic one. This is the first advanced run. No, that's the second advanced run. This is the first advanced run. Alright, uh, I like this the most, and I am going to make one smaller, small change. Solidify, slightly, I guess 0 0.05, and 0.03. Just to give it like that thick feeling. And, yeah. I genuinely feel like bed sheets look a lot better with a bit of width. So if I'm interested in bed sheets, this is probably it. And then I want this on top of that. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So just this much. Yeah. And then you can just give them different materials. Alright, so this is my final render on EV. No, wait, this is on cycles. Let me just quickly make sure. Yeah, this is on cycles. I redid the lighting and everything. Um, it's really not that different from what I had. All I did was like just add a pillow, drop another blanket on top of it, and redo this. Uh, I didn't like the original one that I had over here. One second, let me just hide this. Um, this, this one, like, it's way too rigid uh, let me just hide everything else that's like irrelevant basically it's way too rigid and yeah i i don't like it i i just straight up don't like it that's why so i did another one i subsurfed it like to six before dropping it and that gave me a much better look it also gave me some creases that i didn't have like on the original one uh the same with this i did this Purely because it was looking really empty. Like, if you just look at this, it, it looks stupid, okay? Uh, let me just hide this, hide this, and try to render it. And you'll just notice it does not look good. Like, it looks really empty. And when I add all of that back, it, yeah, it looks proper like it belongs there yeah this hdri at the back it does not belong there i know it does not belong there um i'm gonna give a link to it at the in like the description anyway because it is really nice i have enjoyed using it for like plenty of my own work as well so yeah all right and that's pretty much it